Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and definitely another segment of why you telling my business don't be telling my business why not because a can can and a can 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 a can can and a wheel we're gonna be talking about Portia Williams honey today as no other day <laughs> okay she just keep giving us material to talk about and Portia you can fool with somebody but honey them little snacks you got to get you through a five hour trip child please stop your mess stop your lies okay stop your lies and your mess because we know you had a sandwich some wings some ribs up in there and you had them warming them up for you okay because you ain't got on those little snacks something you did it for a five hour and you read a book come on girl can't even have write a book you want to read one girl gone so well but anyway i want to know portia what is the deal why should i marry you okay your options are pretty much null and void at this time. Unless you come out with something new, explosive, <coughs> a spin-off. Well, not necessarily a spin-off, but a show documenting uh, your winning plans with Simon. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what his end game is. I know from what other bloggers were out there talking about, Simon wanted to definitely be on TV. And I'm like, to what exposure? Uh, he just wanted to be a part of a ratchet tv show i know he tried to get fallon on interested in getting on real housewives of atlanta which she did for whatever reason she didn't last long but he got his five minutes of fame by the pool and some other engagements but very little of us watching um simon and i should say eeyore that's his name he's giving his uh, name is Simon, nickname, whatever. But when he signed on those dotted lines, from what I see, what I hear, uh, in those YouTube streets, he basically signed his name Yori. And his how we're spelling Gabadi is kind of different from how he's spelling Gabadi. So that's already a warning sign. Okay. And Portia, of course, we know, as Dennis had definitely stated on one of her shows, that she don't mess with no broke people. Okay. And that's how she got a baby by Dennis because Dennis ain't no uh, broke Joe out there in those streets either. And from what Simon is, I don't know if he inherited money, invested money well, but he's not broke either. At least not right now. Okay, but she thinks she has her dream man, her dream uh, fantasy of having it all. Why they got uh, tattoos of each other at such a late age? in the game i don't know hopefully it's a pill off tattoo not really sure from what i read in somebody's comments uh they said that was a uh, a, a tramp stamp um tattoo which um yori has on it on him but i'm like it's not a tramp stamp because when i googled it it said a lady uh tattoo which is really at the lower part of her back meaning uh sensual sexual and promiscuity uh meaning they fool around with the sex tools a lot or just they love having sex they're very uh free with having sex uh, so i was like okay if it's supposed to be located at the bottom part of a lady's back and it's talking about um being free with having sex and stuff like a little wild child running around now um that doesn't really fit simon so i don't know if it's really a tattoo or it's a wash off tattoo it seems look, look real to me but it is what it is but and thank you for the jasmine ran for using that picture i always try to shout her out she's another youtube blogger very very high in the numbers go over and check out her channel uh you won't be disappointed <coughs> but uh portia what are your options why would simon want to be with you you're not on real housewives of atlanta you're not on your special anymore, Family Porsche Family Matters. That pretty much blew up in smoke. You're not on Dish Nation. Uh, he likes to be in who's who's, that circle of elite friends and this, that, and the third. And your show was helping him get what he needed. Now, of course, he divorced um, Fallon. It was a mutual thing to some, de to some degree. And you're not on Ricky Smiley's show no more either. We know you've been pushing and peddling your $13 book now. Uh, I don't know how the sales are going with that. But again, your assets are drying up faster than we can say Jumping Jack Flash. Okay? Don't wish that on you. I hope you do have something in the uh, pipeline, uh, in the fires, uh, more iron in the fires we don't know about. And you just haven't let us know about 
it yet uh, I don't know what the status of you going back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta because I know if you did go back they're going to want you to talk about your spinoff show and the ladies definitely going to want to talk about the spinoff show and the ones that would be on your ass mostly would be Marlo and Kenya and not in that order it could have been Kenya first then Marlo and then it's going to trickle on down because you know Candy Burr is going to have something to say and uh, you're going to be again the hot thought of Atlanta okay just rolling trying to get the biggest baddest paycheck out there so you can continue living in the lap of luxury of sin as much as possible okay but girl what do you have to offer Simon Gabadia he already said it I think on the first or second episode of your um, show uh, Porsche's Family Matters that the only thing y'all have equally in common is that y'all both like to drink and party okay what a slap in the face with that statement but this is the man you have chosen to be with and it, it, it has all to do with money it has nothing to do with love uh it's all money power greed and how he can definitely continue to make you look and feel nice in the lap of luxury all right but again he's supposed to be a businessman he's supposed to be a no-nonsense businessman he's pretty much come and told you your family ain't shit uh, basically in so many words he even got it on the hierarchy of your aunt Liz who's the main founder and running and operating first female uh, of an organization such as a community food bank and he showed her less respect than he showed uh, uh, I guess a bleeding dog on the street girl he told your aunt saying he know who she is but she need to give you because you are the heir grandchild of the famous Jose Williams and y'all not treating her right and y'all need to treat her I guess better than they treat Aunt Liz okay and Aunt Liz was taken back okay she was taken back like who is this Edgar talking to but anyway she did do her just duty and show out on camera and defend her honor as who she is until she's ready to pass the torch to somebody in her family meaning her biological kids or she had to look for forward to maybe distant cousins or whatever that really had put forth an effort because she's definitely getting older and she can't handle it like she used to but she want to make sure the torch is passing to somebody credible reliable and focused on continue making that dream happen for people who are homeless until homeless is not a thing anymore okay and then they can close up shop because you don't need it if everybody's being treated right everybody's being fed in the world or at least in georgia what's the need turn into turning it into something else uh that will help the community but right now she definitely don't see Portia as one of the forefront runners uh if she didn't have any of her kids i'm sure she would look towards london i mean lundy um or it would be maybe possibly lauren but Portia wouldn't come nowhere near it as you know the spearheaded one the, the one who makes all the decisions regarding the organization and i can understand why we all can understand why but what is Simon's end game? If you're not on television, and we definitely want to see him, I don't even want to go over to his Instagram account because of a few times that I did, I got bored as hell and got on off of it. Uh, we try to look to understand how he's going to be a role model for your daughter, how he's going to affect her positively or negatively because Dennis is in the wind, honey. He's at the forefront. He's watching everything. And he should be. I would be scared, too, to put my child in his hands when you're not present i would be scared terrified myself because look how he treats his own children he's running around in rolls royces and and treating his cars like they're his children or well, he should be treating his children like they're um or worth something valuable more than something materialistic but you don't see him with them and of course somebody had to make them smile or do say them to do something real cool or something make them bad because right now they just seem like they puzzled those two like why are y'all taking pictures of us uh we don't really want to be in this moment it's called stage propped scene because i think to the left are simon's kids to the right are her kids and you see how separate they feel in that picture look forced now that's a happy picture right there uh well Porsche gonna fake the ad i'm just talking about dennis and um uh pj that's happy you can see that it, it lose all out of the picture and pretty much they both destroyed it equally but like i said uh porsche's doing more damage now than D dennis could have ever done to her 
okay and uh, I just don't understand how Diane says she can like both of them the same and this that and the third when they're both differently and equally and respectfully uh, move differently as well then it seems like he's a hard working person he want to always have something that he can fall back on when he gets old he's looking out for that time for his mother as well and he would just want to live a good life it didn't have to be all flashing diamonds and pearls and parties and, and rubbing head with elite people sometimes I just need family time and just enjoy the scenery of where we end up you know what I'm saying but Simon is damn near 60s probably 65 he should be retired and He's running around here trying to act like a kid, trying to get his youth back. Uh-uh. Don't go that way. Got more years behind you than you do in front of you. But, again, why would he need you, Portia? You're not a personality in radio anymore. You're not on your uh, special they gave you one season of because you burnt that bridge. You tore it up, girl. It was, I mean, you burnt it down to the whole foundation. And I'm guessing you're having flights where you're trying to go sell your book or whatnot. I have no idea what you're doing out there. We all don't have any idea what you're doing out there. Even on the little platforms that you are on. We still don't have an idea what you're doing out there. But then it said you flew to London. And it was an unexpected trip that you just called him early in the morning. And said you had to go to. And you just was making him aware. And he's looking at you like you calling me late in the wee hours in the morning. Talking you finna go somewhere. Okay. It was piss poor parenting and organization of a schedule for you to be co-parenting with him okay but again where do you go from here we want to know because it's looking like a train wreck where do you go from here because i tell you simon when he get tired of you he already told dennis your baby daddy that he got trucks he got moving trucks on standby so when he get tired he feel like he don't want to be bothered no more he had to get rid of him. Period and point blank. He said that we heard him. It's documented. Go back and look at the tapes. Alright. On your show at that. So that should definitely worry you. What do Simon have in store for you? Okay. Because let's look at the optics here. Y'all just bought a home. I'm guessing you used some of your money. But you're not on the lease. You're not on the deed of the contractual agreement of paying that house off. Only person that's on there is Yuri Gubadia. Okay? Doesn't have Portia Williams name on there. None of it. Is he lying to you and saying, Oh, once we get married, we get settled, we can um go and fix the document where your name can be added on. Uh and we'll handle it that way. Like, Portia, is your credit bad or something? You couldn't stand with them? Um, and he, you know, the income. I mean, you could have been on there because you, you could have less than favorable credit. But they could definitely have put you on the loan. Because they ain't going to go after somebody if, 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 if uh, you're in default. So they're going to come looking for you or whatnot. Which they ain't going to get too much because that house is like, what, six and a half million? Child, please. Okay? Because I thought it was the least to buy. You know what I'm saying? But from what other bloggers saying they said they actually saw the deed they went as far as looking up shit on you uh and it's, it's a court record and he didn't have it still for anything it would be visible and they said it's only in yuri's name your fiance you were really your glorified boyfriend so i'm almost like tisa tells and everybody else you just a housemate a guest mate girl roommates in that house so that should be really strange because um like i said fallon did have her name on one of them houses they had in that house she got some residue from it from the sale of it and she got cars out of it so i'm like what what do you got portia do you have a car do you have a house do you have some real estate that he gave you for a present or something I, i'm not sure because all this materialistic stuff that can be bought and sold or given to somebody if you dead and gone you know <laughs> Come on, where, where, where are you living for your daughter? Or is her real dad having to have to provide for her and a legacy for her? Because you're just fucking up all the way around. What, what's going on, girl? What's going on? I'm trying to have a heart, heart conversation with you. Where do you go from here with Gabadia? Or should I say, where is he going to take you and leave you at the very end of this scenario? Because again, why do he need you now, Portia? Do he really love you? Do he really 
Did he really love uh, Fallon? Did he really love his other two ex-wives? Okay, before Fallon came in the picture? Well, he just divorced them all and said, what the hell? You know, send me the bill for the children, but I'm only going to pay the bare minimum. But when you're rich like him, you're supposed to be taking care of all the ladies that father children for you, as well as the livelihood of the children. That's my understanding of the culture. But maybe you breaking heritage. Maybe you breaking the code and you just living life how you want to live. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But this is the life you asked for, Portia. You want it to be all free willing and free of Dennis. But you want to remain telling the world and probably your daughter if she's in earshot of her dad ain't shit. Her dad ain't worth being born. He's no good. He's this. He's that. He's a cheater. He's a liar. Well, I think your dad solidified that. Your first hand knowledge of what cheating was all about when he did it to your mama. Okay, so you're very well versed in that situation. But if you forgave your daddy, you love your daddy, why can't you forgive Dennis? Why can't you? Okay, I'm pretty sure your mama did, I guess. I'm hoping. And she moved on. But why the hostility towards Dennis? Did the same thing your daddy did. But you, you always say you love your daddy, you respect your daddy. Your daddy was an honorable man. But yeah, he did all these flaws to your mama and your stepmama. Same action, same deed, but you forgive him and you still love him, but you can't forgive Dennis and you can't love him on Dennis as a co-parent. Make it make sense. Make it make sense for all of us, for yourself and for the viewers and for your fans, okay? I'm just a, a viewer myself. But anyway, that's all I have with this video. I just had to ask Portia that question. Where does Yuri, or what does Yuri need with her now since she's all off of these fabulous platforms that he wanted to be a part of what plans do he have for you Portia and are they in your best interest or not okay because you don't burn bridges with your family you don't burn bridges with your daughter's dad and only lifeline you have or you think you have is um Yuri Yuri Gabadia and his lifestyle that he portrays he has uh-huh because the only way y'all got into Swan Lake House and that charity benefit thing was through your connections. only way he got into your fam Porsche Family Matters was through your connections. All these Instagram photos, these suits you bought him for every day in the week. The business week. And all these other things. You bought them. You brought them to him. So to me, you're more of an asset to him to getting him where he wants to be. Using you as a stepping stone. To get to where he truly want to be. To probably the woman he really want to be with. Let's check her out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying honey. But that's all I have for this video guys. Y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more. Don't hesitate to hit that like subscribe button. And share me out. On all your platforms. And I always come to the house for a great conversation. And keep it to subject topic. Not what other people say in the comments because they're free to express themselves. They just have to be respectful. That's it. But what do y'all think about Simon? What do y'all think he's going to do with Portia? Is he just going to hopefully beg Bravo to give them a wedding special so that the world can see how they are still together. They are preparing for their big day and all this. Even though we know something's going to blow up, something's going to happen. Maybe Simon's going to cheat on with a white woman or Asian woman or hell, even a black woman, okay? And then that's going to bring her back to being salty that every man cheats on her. And she tries to figure out, why me, why me, why me? Cry me a river and throw yourself in it, okay? But, uh, yeah. Is Simon's going to eventually turn out to be a cheater like Dennis? Hmm? But to me, he's already in that league. Remember Fallon? It wasn't too clear on the timelines of when they got together and when he was still married. I don't care if he was legally separated or whatever they want to play. He was still married on paper to Fallon. Okay? Well, even though we know Fallon had made her indiscretions as well. And we're not saying, uh, or we're, we're not saying both of them hands ain't dirty. All four of their hands ain't dirty. But I'm saying if you forgive one, you should be able to forgive the other one and move on. Your trifling way portion. That's all we are saying over here. 
but again like i said somebody got to make them look like they were happy like a stage prop scene because you see here uh, it's a different whole scenario isn't it guys a different whole scenario but anyway like i said that's all i got for this video and i will see y'all in the next one and we can continue the conversation and dialogue further on into whatever video i'm going and discussing about and more than likely you know it's gonna be about Porsche. okay but like y'all love y'all gotta have more of y'all i'll see you next video bye